going on everybody and welcome back to another video and yet another FIFA 21 review. So today we have actually got Corn. Okay, I'm probably going to butcher his first name, but we have got Lamar, Lamir. We're going to go with Lamir. Uh, hopefully that is correct. Please let me know down below whether you're a Leipzig fan, whether you're a fan of this football player, if I am pr pronouncing it right with Lamir. Um, but this card honestly looks like a hidden gem, boys. I brought him in like the first two hours of 10 hours early access. I've used all my 10 hours early access on my main account and I'm currently on my second account using 10 hours now. Um, which of course on my second account is where I pack my, my uh, Varan. Which if you want to see a Varan review, then make sure to go check that out. That is also out on my channel. But Lamar I picked up for 9.6k and I can already tell like when the full game's out and more people discover him, I feel like he will be gone up a little bit to like even 20 to 25k. It really just depends. So if you guys are watching this during early access, let me know how much he is because right now he's 11k he's 11k but if you're watching this when the full game's out like on the 9th of october i feel like that's when he really will uh rock it up in price so let me know down below how much he is uh at the time you are watching this anyways Lamar looks like an incredible Bundesliga CDM. Ignore the cam, he's actually a CDM. Obviously, I just use position changes for chemistry reasons, but Lamar looks really, really good. Uh, we'll go through his stats in just a second, but before we do that, if you guys are new, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. This review is a little bit different. We are talking over it, so all of this gameplay is pre-recorded. Usually, uh, we play the game whilst commentating, and I find that people do enjoy that more. Uh, we will be going back to that soon it's just this this uh card or this footage i didn't have my mic connected so hence why i this is all pre-recorded but looking at his stats with 85 pace with an anchor which i feel like is the best chem style he goes to 90 pace so he's a very far cdm 90 pace at cdm he's got some decent dribbling 76 agility 74 balance isn't great and we will get in to uh how he feels on the ball later on in the review his passing as well is decent, 84 short passing, 79 long passing, so he's very well rounded. Uh, physical as well, his strength of 69 but with an anchor, an anchor this year seems OP. Not only does he get plus 5 pace and go to 90 pace, he goes from 79 stand tackle to 89 stand tackle, 85 slide tackle, and uh, that strength, the strength boost is from literally it's instead of a plus five stream first with an anchor it's a plus 10 as you can see we are playing him in a four triple two at right cdm as well but the anchor this year it just seems op so instead of him getting a plus five strength boost from 69 to 74 he is now going straight all the way up to 79 so 79 strength 90 pace at right cdm like 85 to 90 defensive stats is just, it is really good um so an anchor for sure if you're using him to cdm is the best chem style i was going to say if you do use him at a center mid there are other chem styles um but his best position is 100 percent a cdm without without a doubt he's got good defending great passing good physical with an anchor and he is very very fast so for some reason i do have him on corners i don't know why i have him on corners as you saw i got rashika to take that corner but later on in the video you will find out that i do have lumiere on corners i don't know why the game put him on corners for me um but hey i'm not complaining as he did actually deliver some good quarters there uh, now, remember this is like two hours into early access, so like no one's playing at the time because once I am in New Zealand, not too popular FIFA here. Um, so it's hard to find a match, especially during 10 hours early access. So we decided to hop into a squad battles match. Before you guys complain, saying why not record a review online, usually all my reviews are online. But this is a legendary AI. With a starting team, a legendary AI is a lot harder than it seems. Hence why we just went one goal down. Um, and if you guys don't know, the legendary AI this FIFA is so hard to break down, especially when you have like 78 rated players in your team. It is just very hard to break down. But this was a massive test for Lemire um, here. So Lemire, honestly... This game really proved to me that he is good. Since then, I have played online, and Lemire has been just as good online than he has on Legendary against Legendary AI. Um, but so that just hopefully that clears some of that up. But I found his passing, as you saw just here, is honestly incredible. And now, this is his main part, boys. 90 pace, a right CDM finds himself down here. Amazing ball, amazing ball into the box. Dude, that, like, that's what I love about this card. 
He's so fast. He has it all. He can even play as a right cam. I know that may sound crazy, but that's literally what he just did there is a right cam's job. And he just did that. So that proves to me he can play pretty much anywhere. Obviously, you would want to get his shooting up if you were to use him as a cam. Um, and his positioning, his best position, really just is a right R CDM, or any CDM for that matter. Uh, but as you saw there, some really nice agile dribbling by holding R1 and the left toggle stick, which seems to literally just be the meta this year. And now uh, Lamar taking these corners as well, or Lemire. I keep changing his name up, I'm not too sure, Let's make sure let me know. But one thing I did really find good about this card is just how well-rounded his stats are. He's got good pace, good, uh, decent shooting, like 68 shooting, and then he's got good passing, good dribbling, great defending, great physical with an anchor, and like, yeah, insane pace. His pace really does steal the show, and for as cheap as he is, he could be 10k, 20k, if he's under 40k, I would say he's worth it. Playing, I brought him for 9.6k, and using him in game, I felt as if he was much better than that. He felt like I was using like a 50 or 60k card. And I'm not just saying that to hype him up like some review YouTubers do. I'm being fully honest, he is very good. And watching back this footage, it just reminds me how good he is. Because I feel like as a CDM, you don't take too much notice of him. Like what a tackle that was. You don't take too much notice of him. You more focus on your strikers and how good they do, if that makes sense. Um, I could be the only one, but I feel like they kind of, kind of like in real life. You know, like if you're comparing players... You're usually gonna, you enjoy watching the striker more. You want your striker to do better than your CDM because it's more of a better position. I don't know where I'm going with this. Some of you may understand what I'm saying. Um, but basically, I feel like a CDM, you don't pay too much attention to how they actually play and it just goes over your head. If they have a good game, you won't really notice because obviously you're focusing on the main goal scorers and your defenders. The midfield, just in general, you don't really think about them like. Like you do for a striker, you don't want to spend 500k on a midfielder unless you really, really, really uh, play with a midfield formation. So what I'm trying to say here is Lamar or Lemire was really, really good. Uh, just like my strikers, he stood out. He didn't stand out, but watching this back, he stood out. Because an 8.2 rating from EA is very, very good. And as you see here, 13 out of 14 passes completed, which is just nuts. I, I mean... He's honestly insane. 12 out of 13 dribbles completed and 3 out of 4 tackles, which is just incredible. His slide tackles as well were really good. But I feel like, like I said, with CDMs, you don't notice how good they are until you watch back over this gameplay. When I was playing with him, I didn't think that he was incredible, incredible. But watching back all the clips I got with this card just now, like I was literally earlier editing this, I was like, Wow, okay, he is pretty good then. He literally pulled off some insane slide tackles, agility and balance held up great, his tackling is incredible, his pace is very, very, very good for a CDM. Um, and even with an anchor, if you don't want that pace boost, if you don't worry about pace too much at, at, at CDM, then go for a sentinel or go for a backbone, I think it is, something that gets his defending and dribbling up. Um, because there is some Kim styles that I would adventure away from, if you don't like him with an anchor and you feel he is a bit clunky, which if I am being honest, we are going to get into the pros and cons screen in a second. He is a little bit quote unquote clunky. I don't think he's incredibly clunky and I don't think he's incredibly not clunky, if that makes sense. He's not very agile, but he's not, uh, he's not like, you know, Ibrahimovic clunky. He is a little bit clunky turning and especially with the defending this year, it's really hard to defend. You need to defend really, really well and manual defending, you have to keep turning, you, you have to keep turning which means you need balance because obviously the higher the balance, the easier your player will turn. So the better the balance, the easier it is to defend. And as you can see on the pros and cons list, the pros is his pace, shooting, uh, physical, oh, sorry, no, pace, defending, and you can see well-rounded stats or decent stats, which by that I mean he literally doesn't have one bad stat. Shooting of 68 is his worst stat, which even then, not necessarily, not necessary for CDM, and I mean, 68 ain't even that bad. Like what I'm trying to say with his decent stats, he's got like 77 plus in every other stat other than shooting, which is very, very good. And under cons, as you can see, it is a little bit clunky. Like as I'm saying, the meta this year, I feel like will be balanced for CDMs because like I said, manual defending is a very, 
very hard. Um, you have to keep following the player that you are tracking. And to do that, you want to be as agile and to have as much balance as you can so you can turn quickly. Um, so going back at it, I would say recommended chem style would be an anchor but it could be like a backbone i believe that's a chem style that gets his agility or balance up uh just something along those lines if you just suit the chem style around your play and how you want to play the game if you like tanky cdms if you had like having one agile cdm and one tanky cdm then go for that um and probably have one cdm more attacking than the other because in this case i use lemire as an attacking cdm um, I had him on join the attack when I was going attacking and I had him on balanced attack when I was defensive um, just because I feel like you can get the best out of both worlds. He's fast, he's agile, great passing and then obviously amazing defending and physical. But overall lads, this card is sensational and for his price, like considering his pros, cons, value, everything, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. Um, he's class, he's class. The only reason it's not like a 9.9 .9, because of how bad his, uh, or how little clunky he is, the reason he's on 9.9 .9 is because he's so cheap. If he was 50k, then he'd be a 9.9, because it is, obviously for 50k, there could be better options, but once he's cheap, like literally 10k for 76 agility and 74 balance, it's not even that bad, especially at the beginning of the game. So honestly, a 10 out of 10 for the value, because he is very, very good. And he was one of the standout players. Obviously, Barashika and Jota, who got most of the assists and goals, he was, what, the fourth highest rated behind Sula in third, I believe? Um, I don't know. You guys can see the ratings on the screen just earlier. But he, he did a very, very good performance. And is he worth it? For me, 10k, 100% worth it. 20k, 100% worth it. 30k to 50k, 100% worth it. Anything above 55k. I don't know. Right lads, I'm using a very shit mic right now, just for the last 10, 20 seconds. Uh, basically, my recording cut out, hence why I just ended randomly after saying 55k. Um, but basically, for 10 to 40k, he is really worth it. When it gets, if he is going to be, lots of people will discover him. And if he is going to be one of the cards that are 50k in the first couple weeks, it's debatable on whether or not he's worth it. But in my opinion, he's still worth it no matter the price because he is such a great card. Anyway, boys, apologies my mic cut out. And uh, remember, if you are new and this review did help you, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace out, guys.